into the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, I think both these teams, they just got to focus. They got to win all four of these games to finish the season. Coach Aird said it. He, he believes if his team wins out, they still could have a chance of sneaking in on the bubble. They're not really there in the RPI right now, but who knows what could happen if you win the next of these out. But then UCLA, they're right in the mix of things. A win here tonight could be huge for them. Absolutely. Now, you take a look at the RPI bubble. UCLA at 67, they have a little more of a strong wins, you could say. Indiana sitting there at 12 and 14, obviously only a half game below them. But once again, when it comes down to RPI, it's you have good wins and can you avoid bad losses and can you win on the road? And Indiana really hasn't done those things as well as UCLA. Yeah, that loss against Iowa really hurt the RPI for the Hoosiers. And then UCLA, they've went toe to toe with some of the best teams in this conference. and. If they string off a win here tonight, they could easily move up again. Now taking a look at Alfie Reft in his second season as a head coach with the Bruins. Recently went to the Paris Olympics and got silver as a coach on that staff. Yeah, he's uh, he's taken over for a very good program here. He got a great situation. Then we see Steve Aird, seventh season as the Hoosier head coach. Not the great record now, but the fat class fat. The last few years have been on the uptick, so we'll see if that record keeps improving. Maybe get another win here tonight. Now Indiana was 21-12 last year, 11-9 in Big Ten play, so it's a, a much different year for Steve Ayers' team. Pretty full crowd here at Wilkinson, all things considered. Not a ton of students, but most students have already started Thanksgiving break. Yeah, the students must have went home early for Thanksgiving time, but the rest of the town really showed out here tonight. I mean, it's really nasty outside. There's no better place to be than in here tonight. And how about the second meeting all time between these two teams? And the first meeting happened last year, and Steve Ayer told us in an interview earlier this week that he was just trying to play some Pac-12 teams. Turns out, hey, come on over to the Midwest. Yeah, that's a crazy coincidence that now they're a part of this conference after just randomly scheduling two Pac-12 teams last year, and now we get the second ever meeting, and this time we're back in Bloomington. So UCLA traveling to Bloomington for the first time ever. About to get going between Indiana and UCLA. Every win matters in the Big Ten. And both these teams coming off win losses, rather, against top ten teams. UCLA lost to Wisconsin in their last match, Indiana lost at Nebraska. Cameron Hayworth will start for Indiana to serve. The all-time leader in service aces in Indiana history. It's back to Ramsey Gary. Now Hayworth will set it up for Tatum, who slams it home for the first point. That's about as good of a start as you could get if you're an Indiana fan right there. Hayworth with a great serve that UCLA couldn't return clean, and then they get the point for it. Here comes Hayworth's second serve in the match. It will be set up for Leveretta on the back row, and it's a kill, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and when we were talking to Coach Air this week, he said they got to serve aggressive to counter that player right there, number nine, Leverett, and you see why. She's going to kill anything that goes her way. Sydney Brion will serve for the Bruins. Leverett leads the team now, 369 kills. More than 100 more than the second best. Tatum on the tip, 2-1 Indiana. And how about that, Adam, our two players we highlighted in the pregame already getting in the sheet with two kills. Good start for Indiana here on this replay on the slide. Avery Tatum hits it where they're not. Candela Alonzo Corcellis will serve with the Hoosiers leading. Leverett will play it up and tipped over, but right to Gary from Pack. Now Tatum again. 3-1 Indiana. I mean, talk about Indiana following the game plan. Coach Aird, the first thing he mentioned to us, serving aggressively, and UCLA hasn't been able to transition in their offense except for that one play. Monso Corcellus set to serve again. Indiana with the early lead. It will go to Leverett. Now Pack setting up for Leverett, who tips it. Hayworth has it. Gary to Saris, and it flies out of bounds. Or rather, it was tipped. My apologies, the point goes to Indiana. I was wondering, that thing was flying, but it was indeed tipped. 
I wasn't sure the tip there or not. I mean, Indiana hitting percentage hasn't been ideal this season, so we're going to see a challenge here to see if it truly was tipped or not. Indeed, so all the ref will challenge. Dylan, what's your opinion? I don't think that got anything. I, I, we'll get another look at it, but I think it went right over the thing. It might, it might have clipped. Who knows? Uh, we'll let the people who are better suited to judge the replay decide it, but that's about as close as you'll ever get there. All right, well, I'll put you on the spot if, if you had to call one. Uh, the ruling on the court is a tip. I, I'd probably keep it as a tip. It, it looked close to one finger of a UCLA as we get another angle here. I think, I think that's point Indiana. I think I saw a finger move there. I think it was Audrey Pack, possibly. Like, maybe your We're gonna go pointer forward. finger. I think it's going to be tough to overturn it if that's what it get called on the court. And I think I saw a finger move whenever that one came her way. Indiana might get to keep this one here. So we await the ruling on the kill for Maddie Saris, or what will be if this call stands. Now, Dylan, we talked about it. Indiana's really struggled in terms of their hitting percentage. Steve Ayer talked about that when we talked to him earlier this week. They got to avoid these type of errors. Once, every angle, I feel like I'm changing my mind. We'll see what the call is. And it goes to UCLA, so they reverse the call. Also, shout out to our camera crew. Yeah, great angles great from angles. all of them. Every one of them made me change my mind on <laughs> my previous call. <laughs> Yeah, but Indiana, that's it's not going to help out the hitting percentage on the year, hitting 14th in the conference this season. Leilani Dotson will serve for UCLA. They have the fewest service aces in the Big Ten, but they do not make a lot of mistakes. Hayworth up to Saris, it goes down. That one counts. Yeah, that one's going to be undoubtedly a point there for Indiana. And Got to get Maddie Saris hot. She's not hitting the ball very well this year at 162, but that one's got to be a confidence booster right there. Ramsey Gary, the libero to serve. Off to Leverett. Pack will set it up and slam down by Brooklyn Briscoe. Only her 66th kill of the year. Played in just 16 matches. That's a big one for UCLA to stay in here early in the first set. Yeah, she's getting a lot of experience. She redshirted her freshman year, a very highly touted recruit. She's very tall as well. UCLA's got some a lot of height in their line here. Audrey Pack serves it to Alonzo Corcellus. Hayworth to Tatum. It's blocked. Kept up. Now Pack's going to set it up, and that time Briscoe just fell up short. Yeah, the number 12 recruit in the 2023 class. Can't replicate her last effort. The set wasn't nearly high enough for her to be able to get that one put away over the net. Avery Tatum will serve Indiana up too. Goes to the back row, free ball over for Indiana. Now Gary is gonna set up for Saris. And it looked like it might have just hit the ground. Peyton Dewick, who's the main digger on this UCLA team. 302 digs coming into this match on the year. Leads the Bruins. And if Indiana could keep serving like this, they. This is their key to success today. I mean, if they can keep serving it well and getting those free balls back. First serve to the back row. Now will be Pack setting up for Leverett. And another kill for Sheridan Leverett, her second. Yeah, typically when I try to make keys to the game, I try to make them overarching themes. But for UCLA, I put one of them, just get it to Leverett. Let her go to work, be the aggressor in this match. She's top 10 in the conference in kills. You gotta, you gotta feed her with as many sets as you can here tonight. That's right, eighth in the Big Ten in kills. Will be Kate Riley to serve. Kept just up alive by Indiana. Saris slams it home. It was Carly Mills who hasn't played a ton this year, making the play on the serve, and it, it was a really tough play. Yeah, great all-around action there from Indiana. Saris heads to the bench. The Canadian already with two kills here tonight. You get to see it again. Indiana just hitting it where they're not. Delaney Maple, transfer from USC where she played beach volleyball. 
to the back row, goes on the serve. Pack will set it up, tipped over, but kept alive by Mills. Now Hayward turns and sets it home. Yeah, we showed the graphic earlier of every stat that Hayworth is in, and she can really do it all out there on the court. So Maple will serve again, and it's interesting, both these teams have a player coming over from Beach Volleyball, a really impressive transition. Here comes Pack, she'll set it up for Briscoe, and she slams it down. Yeah, Brooklyn Briscoe getting in on the action from the middle blocker spot once again. It's her second kill of the night already. Kat Lutz will serve for UCLA. It was Kate Riley who just served, transferred from Stanford after four years of beach volleyball. Here's Lutz on the serve, back row. Indiana trying to keep it alive, they do. They might have to get over on this one, they do not. They get it over on the third hit, Alonso Corsellis. Pack, now on the far side, it's kept alive by Maple, a really good dig. Now she's gonna go for a hit to the back row to UCLA. Long rally here, tip is just out of bounds by the Bruins. On the far side, it looked like it was Grace Olsen. Stands at 6'4", and she looks all a 6'4", but just missed that. We've already had some entertaining points here, shaping up to be a great match here tonight. Ella Borsava will serve for the Hoosiers. Early lead, and that ball goes out of bounds. And that's what Indiana's got to avoid tonight. You can't service error yourself into a loss here tonight. They're second in the conference in service errors, and I want to look at another stat. Both of these teams, 17 and 18th in blocks in the conference, should see a lot of spikes here tonight. Grace Olsen, it's off to Mills. The back row, now Alonzo Corsella's big swing. And now UCLA's gonna set up. And a good block by India at the net. A couple there for the Hoosiers. Well, UCLA's just gonna set over. Alonzo Corsellis tries again. That time she finishes. I think that was my biggest announcer jinx ever. I talk about these teams in the bottom of the conference and blocks, and both teams pick up one on those possessions. A great round. Hayworth back up to serve. That one is out of bounds. And, and that's what Indiana does a lot of times with Hayworth. You take a little more of a risk of the serve flying out because she has so much power on her ace. Yeah, she's got a lot of aces this year, 42 coming into the night, but that'll make her 59th error on the year as well. And Indiana, they got to limit the service errors. I feel like that's been one of the big stories this season with this team. Sydney Brion back for the Bruins. They trail by three in a way through the first set. First ball goes to Maple, now Alonso Corsella's big sway. And she finishes it off as Olsen couldn't quite dig it out. Alonzo Corsellis, another one for, she's hot here tonight, starting out. Alonzo Corsellis to serve. First ball goes to Leverett, she'll get it back, rejected. Right at the summit, it was Abel Vickers. Indiana with a picture perfect start here tonight. They're getting blocks, they're serving it well so far. It's gotta close it out here. See the graphic there. 19 matches with 10 plus kills for Corsellis. UCLA goes to the other side, it's dug out by Hayworth. Now Saris swinging, and UCLA's able to grab it with Brio. And back to Leverett, flies, was it touched? It was not. Another point for Indiana, Sheridan Leverett has gone the, the bulk of the hitting and it's gonna force a UCLA timeout. Alfie Rent Reft wants to talk things over. 13-7 Indiana here in the first set. We'll be back here as you're watching Big Ten Volleyball on Big Ten Plus. Illinois went to Northwestern, the second straight Northwestern middle blocker to head out to Westwood. Yeah, BYU. One season and then Northwestern. Off the serve, Saris, a tip right over the two blockers for the Bruins. Saris is absolutely on fire here to start off tonight. She hasn't been hitting the ball very well this year. She's got a lot of kills, but 
showing off the finesse there, getting it right over the blockers there. I'm talking about the hitting percentage. Indiana's above .5 and UCLA's below .1. We'll see if that will change here. It will with Sheridan Leverett. Once again, the main Bruin to go to, Dylan. Yeah, she is certainly the key to the game here tonight as she picks up her third kill so far in this contest. Audrey Pack will serve. The main setter for UCLA. To the back row, Hayworth, Tatum. Indiana gets the point. Looked like it was nearly rejected by UCLA. And it ends up with Avery Tatum, her fourth kill. You get another look at it there. Just puts it right in. Indiana rolling here early. Pack will set it up. Leverett from the back row. Keeps it alive. Pack will try the other side. And it's finished off by Grace Zilson on the far side. Yeah, just going off the facial expressions there. I don't think uh, Ramsey was quite ready for that one. That one kind of looked like it surprised her on that one as UCLA cuts it back down to five. And we're getting into that territory where Indiana's had some trouble finishing off sets this season when it gets into the 20s. We're going to have to see how they respond here in this first set. Ramsey Gary leads the team in digs with 385. And the first ball here will go to Carly Mills. Hayworth, Saris, down. Saris just absolutely rolling here today. She had 272 kills in 2022. She's already got a handful here tonight, up to 200 on the season now. Kate Riley just couldn't quite react fast enough. Looked like she was maybe going down the line. It ends up in the middle of the court. And just Delaney Maple to serve for Indiana. Gary with a nice dig. Alonzo Corsell softly touches it. Riley's on the deck to keep that one out. Now from the back row, Gary digs it out again. Alonzo Corsellis, good dig out by Duick. And it's going to be a violation against UCLA, so it goes back to Indiana. I think I think Gary might have dug that one out with some assist from the head on that one. And another kill there for Alonzo Corsellis. Indiana, a great start here so far. Delaney Maple from San Diego, California. A lot of California players on UCLA. Not so many on Indiana. On the back row, Alonzo Corsell is able to keep it up. And now Hayward tries to turn and fire, and it flies out of bounds. Kiki Horn had that initial kill attempt for the Bruins. And Maple had a pair of really good serves from the line there. What a Really been a service to this Hoosier team to keep her back there for a few more, but UCLA gets a chance at it now. Cat Lutz, the second libero usually for UCLA. Off to Borsema. She finishes off the point. A bash there from Borsema as we get another look on the slide. Hits it opposite. This Indiana team looks completely different really at home this year. But still, they could use this win. Good dig out for UCLA to start. Now a swing, not able to be kept up by Indiana and Carly Mills. It was Grace Olsen completing the point after a really nice dig by Peyton Duick. Yeah, UCLA going to have to string together a few more of those to get back into this contest. Olsen will serve. Not a really powerful server as zero aces on the air. Lots of Corsells is. And the point goes to Indiana as it was blocked out of bounds. It just seems like UCLA cannot string together two or three points in a row. Yeah, they got down early, and Indiana's had a great start here just holding them off, keeping them just out of striking distance. Hayworth to serve. It's a powerful one. Duix able to keep it up. Now on the far side, wide open space is found by Kiki Horn. Yeah, Horn, Gatorade State Player of the Year in 2023 as a junior in North Carolina. It's always impressive to see those awards getting to a junior as we see a few UCLA fans. We'll hope those are the ones of the family from Illinois. That would have been a long drive, Adam. <laughs> Absolutely, or a, a pretty long flight as well. 
Vickers tries to slam it down. Leverett, that one hits the floor. Leverett, get used to the name because you're going to hear it an awful lot here tonight whenever she's in. Already got four kills in this contest, really keeping UCLA in this one. UCLA back to serve. Hayworth, Alonso Corcellis, and the Bruins can't quite dig it out. You hear the theme song going off. Corcellis, another one, Alonzo Corcellis, the first Spaniard ever to play for IU Volleyball. She's certainly leaving her mark on this set. Sweet kill there. And now she has a chance to serve. And Saris blocks it, and then it goes out of play and back to Indiana. I can't remember the last time UCLA, or if they've even had three points in a row, and it forces another Bruins timeout. Alfie Reft trying to get his squad on the same page. We'll keep it right here. Dylan, what needs to change for the Bruins to get back in this first set? And Maddie Saris, though, she's been hot. Five kills. Yeah, it's a great start. Two Hoosiers with five kills already in this one. Alonzo Corcellus with five as well. And Avery Tatum, she's got four of them on the night as we see. Candela Alonzo Corcellus head back to the line. 21-14 Indiana. Alonzo Corcellus serves to the back row. Pack is going to set up for Leverett. It's tipped, and Indiana's able to keep it up. Hayworth, Tatum blocked. We stay with the Hoosiers. Saris is blocked. Hayworth again. Saris just gets it over. Two Bruins crash for the ball. They got to get over on this third one. They do with Duick. Hayworth, Tatum, just out of bounds, trying to stripe it right down the white line. And this is where Indiana coach aired early in the year. He talked about finishing out sets. This is where you got to remain strong, serve well, and then don't make any unforced errors at the net. Leilani Dodson to serve for the Bruins. First ball does not go to any Hoosier. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, that's a very uncharacteristic service error there for the Bruins. They come in on the night ranking just 11th in the conference on service errors. Now Indiana will serve, they'll get it over. Pack will set it up and it's slammed down by Briscoe. Brooklyn Briscoe has been heavily involved in this game, just 65 kills coming into the year. Yeah, on the slide, they've hit her on it a lot here so far, and got to ride the hot hand. Rather, 65 kills coming into this match, I should say. Did not compete last year when she was rehabbing from an ankle injury, but back this year, healthy, ready to go. Hayworth, Tatum tries again. That one hits the ground. A strong first set for Indiana's main kill guys. Yeah, they already got three of them with five in the stat sheet already here tonight. A great start for Indiana's outside hitters. Tatum to the back row. Pack will set it up, Leverett, woo! Wow. I think the impact on the ground is still echoing in here, Adam. That was a great spike there from Leverett. We see it. She's only six foot tall, but she sure gets up to bring them down, and compared to some of her teammates out there that listed at 6'4", 6'5", I mean, she's top 10 in the conference in kills. I mean, clearly she's doing something right. That was major elevation. UCLA to serve. Carly Mills hits it off of Borsema. Was trying to keep it up. Borsema was going to a different position. It looked like it might just hit her shoulder. So now UCLA trying to get on a roll. And it's Kate Riley who's going to serve again. 23-18. This is the Bruins' chance. They have to make it now if they want to make a run. And Kate Riley falls up short. She has the most service aces on the team with 17. And that's her 22nd air. And now Wilkinson Hall rises. Set point in the first set. And nobody better to serve than Maple here either. Delaney Maple trying to finish off her in-state team to the back row to Riley. They'll set it up, and Carly Mills is able to dig it out. 
Maple, Alonso Corsellis, free ball over. Set up for Briscoe, fires it home. UCLA stays alive in set one. Yeah, one thing I was really shocked about whenever I was prepping for UCLA was top six in the conference and hitting percentage. And they, they get up there and they swing aggressively and they do it at a high mark. They haven't really done it so far here tonight, but maybe that'll be the one that sparks the comeback. Here is Cat Lutz to serve. The southpaw, Hayworth sets it up. Borsema, it was tipped. And the first set goes to Indiana. A dominant start, they hold it all the way through the first set. Yeah, talk about a confidence builder here at home, Adam. You got the fans in your ear, and you get a great start. We'll be back for set two. Indiana takes set one. Indiana and uses Akron. That's in Bloomington. And Indiana volleyball here tonight. Yeah, and then you get another Indiana volleyball game coming up soon. I mean, we got some good Thanksgiving week coverage for you here at Big Ten Plus. Even the students showed up a little bit kind of sprinkled in over there. They're not as unified as they typically are. That is right, but we'll get set two underway. Starts with UCLA serving. Ava Vickers on the spike attempt that was knocked down. Alonso Corsellis tries, she's blocked, and it's in. Great block by UCLA at the net. Yeah, and Alonso Corsellis was hitting 500 going into that one, and it felt like it had been a while since she hadn't got one down for a point, and it's a great start there for UCLA. Looked like it was Brooklyn Briscoe with the block. First ball is to Maple. Alonso Corsell's his block. Maple keeps it up. And a violation against UCLA. And we're tied at one. And they went right back to Alonso Corsellis, showing the confidence in the Spaniard. Couldn't get it to go, but Indiana still gets the point to equalize it up here. Hayworth will start to serve for Indiana in set two. That's a great serve, but UCLA is able to keep it up, and now a diving attempt by Hayworth. It hits right in the middle of the net. Really nice play by Peyton Duick. That was great there from UCLA to recover a very hard serve there from Hayworth, and they brought it back just in the nick of time. Peyton Duick in her second year at the Bruins, played a Cal Poly in 2021. Here's Alonso Corsellas. How about that power? Already up to seven kills on the night. We showed the graphic earlier. 19, 10 plus kill game. She's looking to be en route for a 20th here tonight. Alonso Corsellas takes her time in the air to the back row. And wow, just a. A brutal air there for the Bruins. Yeah, that one was just about as unforced as they come. I mean, didn't even look like that crazy of a serve, but Leverett unable to rally it in. Yeah, interestingly enough, the main kill person for the Bruins, Leverett, that's actually just the 22nd ace for Alonso Corsellis. UCLA grabs it right back. Yeah, this back and forth is more is what I would have been expecting coming into the night for this match. That first set, really a dominant performance from Indiana to really string together enough points to build that lead. And we're seeing a little bit of back and forth action here to start out set two here tonight. Audrey Pack, right to serve for the Bruins. Onza Corsellis, Hayworth sets it up. Tatum fires it home. Avery Tatum, the former Cincinnati player. She played club in high school for Rachel Morris and Kevin Hodge, both the assistants for this Indiana team. Very familiar with them and came to Indiana. She's having a great night here tonight. Ramsey Gary, short serve to Duick. And now Alonso Corsellis tries to keep it up. But UCLA has the point. The kill goes to Leilani Dotson. UCLA is really spreading the wealth. And it feels like a tennis match here, just back and forth, back and forth. A great kill there from Dodson. Kate Riley, her turn to serve. At 4-4 in set number two. First ball goes to Saris Hayworth. 
and up to Borsama. She's been involved in the action. Her third kill. Yeah, the Churubusco prospect. She led the state of Indiana in hitting percentage her senior year of high school in 2023. She's hitting it well here tonight. Just 40 kills on the year. That's her flies out of play from Avery Tatum. Yep, Indiana's third service error of the night. They've been able to keep them to a minimum. That's just one more than what UCLA has, but going to have to limit those errors if you want to build another lead like you did in set one. That was USC service errors. That is a lot. Hayworth, Alonzo Corso is coming in from the back row. She paints the line. I want candy. Eighth kill of the night there for Corcellus. Spectacular performance so far here for her tonight. So we get another look at it. Just putting it right past them. Hit them where they ain't. Maple to serve. Ooh, that's a powerful one from Maple. And it sets up a free ball for Alonzo Corcellus. Was set up from a great serve from Delaney Maple. Indiana is hitting the ball incredibly well here tonight. Was 452 before that one, and another kill there for Alonzo Corcellus. Maple, ready to serve again. Another powerful one. And UCLA is able to dig it out. Now on the near side, it's put down by Grace Olsen. That's her third kill. Delaney Maple is lucky to not have had a few more serves in tonight's contest. She's getting a hold of it every time, and seems like UCLA is doing a great job of digging them out, and Indiana just unable to set up that block there of Borzema. You don't always see that with Maple going for the ace on her serve. Just 15 aces on the year. Alonso Corsell's going for the tip. Olsen's able to keep it up. Gets set up on the far side. Rejected, but out of bounds. It was Kiki Horn taking a giant hack at that ball, and we're tied at seven. Yeah, and just like that, the small lead that Indiana built is evaporated. We're back knotted up here. Grace Olsen serves it short, and Hayworth tries to turn and fire. It's dug out by Leverett. Now it's her turn. She tips it to Hayworth. Short ball, Gary, Alonso Corsellis. Yes, sir. 20 games now with 10 plus kills for Alonzo Corcellus. As good of a start as you can get for the Spaniard. We get another look at that one, just putting it perfectly in that corner. Borsima hits off the top of the net, lying out and making the plays, Leverett. Now on the far side, was it tipped? It flies out of bounds. Kiki Horn's calling for a tip. We'll see if this is a challenge from Alfie Reft. Yeah, Reft's got a lot of faith in his players. He saw them signaling for it, and he went straight to the official. Well, we'll see if they're challenging it. Looks like they are going to review this. Now, uh, let's take another look. Oh, yeah, that ball definitely changed directions. Looked like it hit the... One of the fingers of Ava Vickers, I would say. I'm going to wait till we see another angle. I was made a fool the last time we had it. And we'll, we'll see another angle. I originally thought it might not have, but the ball did look like it might have started curling after that one. We'll see if UCLA can get another successful challenge on this one. Already two challenges here tonight for UCLA. Another angle here. I mean, how could that not hit her? What? Actually, you know what? It was her right hand that it maybe hit. I don't know. Yeah, the assist from our producer on that one. We're going to see what the call is. We're going to put it in better hands than ours, Adam. Yeah, it gives us another chance to shout out our camera crew here nice and early. Couldn't do it without them. And they certainly make this at least possible for us to make a judgment. Obviously, I mean, I mean, it is just 
so close once again, like the last one we saw. It can go either way. If you got a coin at home, flip it. That might be the call. Yeah, it's so close that you're sort of kneeling down towards our monitor, trying to get the, the straightest look that you can. Yeah, I'm about to flip a coin. Head, heads UCLA, tails it goes with Hoosiers. I think Owen might go to Indiana here. It worked. It worked. Indiana wins that challenge, gets a point. Did you get the, did you get the first one right? I forgot. I am one one of two here on the night, so we'll oh, see. Oh, so, so you're one and one. Of I'm hitting 500 here tonight, Adam, for uh, the volleyball statistic fans out there. That's right. Borsima to serve. We're out of the break, and it's finished off by Kiki Horn. Or, well, or rather, that's going to go to Indiana, I believe. Oh, I think the. On the point of the wrong side, because that was that was in by Kiki Horn, most definitely. Yeah, he got it right the first time. Kiki Horn gets the credit for it. Sydney Brion, who's mainly been in to serve for the Bruins. Maple, Hayworth, Alonso Corcellus. That's out of play. Out of that's touched actually. Indiana was signaling for that one almost instantaneously there. A great set there from Hayworth to Pull that one back to their side and set up Corcellus as we get a look at it here. That one definitely got tipped. They were to the back row. Duick, and now Leverett gets rejected. Set over, but to Indiana from Pack. And now Vickers, Vicious. Vicious Vickers, you could be onto something there, Adam. Indiana sharing the love here early. Another Hoosier getting a kill in the stat book, and Indiana starting to build a little bit of a lead here. They were to serve. Off the net, Duick digs it out. Now Leverett, big swing and a big block. Vickers again. You don't see that too often, Leverett getting blocked once, let alone twice on back-to-back -back plays. Indiana doing a nice job of shutting it down there, building a wall at the net. Indiana now leads by four. On the near side, Alonzo Corcellus comes up with the block. And Alfie Reft wants a timeout. This Hoosiers crowd is into it. I don't know how Indiana's done it, but they've managed to build a wall at the net right now, Adam. Right now, it's the hammering Hoosiers. They lead by five and set two. We'll but Indiana has the five point lead with Hayward serving. And down it goes. The all time leader and aces at Indiana gets another. And Indiana looking really sharp out here tonight. UCLA maybe a little bit of jet lag. Still haven't woken up in this contest yet. All the raft is just cycling through subs trying to find some combination that can string together some points for UCLA. This is exactly what went wrong in set one. They got off to uh, a start that was not good. This time it's in the middle of the set where they've struggled. Do it. Now they're going to set it up. Down it goes. Sheridan Leverett. Yeah, back to usual business there for Leverett. She got blocked back to back times, and she's right back in the stat sheet there. Cat Lutz will serve. UCLA gets a side out. And looking to add points on their serve. Alonso Corcellus is blocked, but it's out of bounds. A little change up, Alonso Corcellus. Yeah, showing off the finesse on that one, and she is hitting abnormally well, only hitting 164 coming into the night. That one gonna take her all the way up to 550. Now it's Alonso Corcellus to serve. To the back row, Duick, Leverett. Indiana gets it. Now Tatum fires it home. Right in front of Audrey Pack. Just filthy play right now from Indiana. Really showing off the strength and conditioning program right now. Slamming these home. 
I mean, it's going right to the floor. UCLA hasn't had a chance to dig any of these out. And Indiana, another big lead here and another timeout for the Bruins. Well, we'll keep it right here, Dylan. This is a similar scenario we had in set one. And I pretty much asked you the same question. What does UCLA need to do to get back in? And this is really a set they got to have. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint things. They're hitting the ball still well here tonight. I mean, 273, you can improve on that, but Indi you got to tip your cap sometimes at the end of the day. Indiana is playing a very good match right now. I mean, UCLA, I don't even know if it's anything they haven't really done. I mean, Indiana just playing a really good match so far in this contest, Adam. Absolutely, and Indiana has a seven-point lead in set two having the time of their lives. I see what you did there, Adam. I, I understood that one. And Indiana, just a great start here tonight. It's not picture-perfect weather outside by any means, but a picture-perfect start here for the Hoosiers in this contest. Indiana on a 6-1 run. It was re really back and forth early. And now, let's look at a sweet graphic here. Yeah, we get another song song reference for you, Adam. Not feeling yeah. the California love. Yeah. Five and 21 all time versus teams from California. Haven't won since 2016 when they traveled to San Francisco. Have you ever been, Adam? I have. I was here this most recent summer working collegiate baseball. Shout out to the Palm Springs Power. I, I've <laughs> never been to a city that got so cold in the summertime, Adam. It was nice 50 or 40 degrees and we were there in July. And not so much when I was in Palm Springs. A cool 120 every day. <laughs> that tip goes down, and UCLA trying to get on a hot streak here. Joy Ume. I believe that's her first kill. Yeah, didn't play last season. The UC Irvine transfer putting her name on this match. The finesse at the net pays off there for Ume. Audrey Pack will serve for the Bruins. Pack just sits it out. And that's one of those if UCLA and all you rep, if you're not going to have service aces, that's fine, but you can't have service airs, right? Yeah, you, you got to limit those unforced airs if you're going to stay in this one, especially when you're trying to claw back into this lead. Ramsey Gary to the back row. Set it up for Leverett. Gary's got to get over on this one. Ooh, great effort, Ramsey Gary. But the Bruins get it back on a side out. Yeah, Ramsey Gary certainly doesn't have any quit in her. She is constantly laying out for those impossible to get balls as we see it. Once again here, Leverett just continuing to be the lone bright spot in this one for UCLA here tonight. Kay Riley will serve. A little bit of a small streak in the first set she had serving. Lonzo Corcellus, Hayworth, Saris. It's kept up by Duick. Good dig. And now playing it short are the Bruins. Gary has that one. Now Saris. Riley has it. And rejected, but out of bounds. Leilani Dodson has the point for UCLA. Great rally there from these two teams. The few UCLA fans over there got to love it if they're even if they're not showing it but we see a little bit of blue sparkled in and out of the crowd here tonight majority red though not the color of roses a lot of Hoosiers fans wearing crimson reminds me of the Rose Bowl when Indiana absolutely went in there and took care of business see if UCLA can reverse the tides here tonight here's Avery Tatum her team leads by 12, or rather by six. UCLA has 12. <laughs> Sets it up for Sarah, small tip. Gary able to keep it in play. Oh, what a play by Ramsey Gary. Can Indiana finish off the point? They do. What a play there from Indiana to get that lead back up to seven. The Hoosiers are rolling here tonight. will come back in for UCLA. Set coach Steve Aird calls out some signals to Gary and Alonso Corcellus. Tatum will serve again. 
That one comes up short. Yeah, I bet she wishes she could have that one back. Uh, you could tell right away that one wasn't getting up and over as we see the UCLA fans and then we see Tatum heading off to the bench. I'm sure we will see her once again here soon. Leilani Dodson will serve to Gary in the back row. Hayworth sets it up for Alonzo. Corsellis is tipped and out of play. Indiana's rolling. Yeah, Alonzo Corsellis is looking like an All-American here tonight. She is playing incredibly well. I know we're only in set two, but early eyes on a player of the game right there. All around for Indiana. Still right near .5 inning percentage. Maple with a powerful serve. Duick just got a piece of it, and it's going to go into the crowd. An ace. Yeah, Delaney Maple finally getting that much-deserved ace in this one. She has had a lot of powerful serves that UCLA's managed to get back in. That one they didn't have a chance on. Delaney Maple at time. Maple mashing just too far. Yeah, a little too much for Delaney Maple. Not sure that one would have been in on a beach court either. Grace Olson for UCLA, her team down seven. Good diving effort by Maple, and now a couple of really low hits by the Bruins. They can't get it up to even have a shot to get it over. Alonso Corsellis. Yeah, great dig there from Maple. A little bit more on her. High school teammates with former Indiana volleyball player Emily Fitzner. If the last name's familiar to any basketball fans out there, that's brother of Evan Fitzner, played during the Archie Ball era, if people have erased that time frame from their head. You know ball, Mr. Dylan Beach. Tipped up and Carly Mills able to keep it in and then Maple gets it over. Now UCLA tries to fire it right down the line. It's out of bounds by Brooklyn Briscoe. The hitting percentage is just are completely different. UCLA at point three, Indiana at point five. Point five, nearly two sets in is absolutely incredible. Yeah, especially when you're looking at their outside hitters percentages too on their own. I mean, Indiana can do no wrong so far. It is Luca Fickle into serve, and Alonso Corsellis comes up short. Just didn't get her legs underneath her. And the Bruins, this is the time if they want. They need to make a run. Yeah, in Indiana, they couldn't transition on that one. Took the return a little weird and just set it back up and couldn't quite get the spike. Sydney Briot, once again, yeah. one of the best players in the Big Ten. I mean, you certainly could have got hurt even more through two sets by her. That's how good she is. And that's the thing. She's hitting above average right now, too. She's only coming into the night hitting 245. She's hitting 333 right now, and she's really not hurting Indiana that much. It's more the supporting cast. She has 10 kills, but then the next closest is five. And you look at Indiana, you got 14, 8, 5, and it's just not sustainable for UCLA right now. Both teams have 18 digs, but Indiana in control right now. Hayworth, Alonso Corsellis rejected. Mills just plays a free ball over. Pack will set it up, Leverett the tip. Mills gets a piece, boards him on the ground. Hayworth gets it over. Oh, and a play, Pack, Leverett rejected. Is it in? It is not just out of play. Yeah, we're gonna see a challenge here. Man, a big time momentum play is Indiana. Desperately was able to save the ball. And we get to head back to the monitor here. Coach Aaron with the challenge. Student section gonna be certainly rooting for this one. Part of his challenge with them. Every challenge he gets right goes towards food, shelter, and a party for the student section. So we'll see if Indiana gets a challenge call here. That's 100% in. Yeah, 100%, guarantee. I mean, if it hits any part of that, I, it is it's in. in. Yeah. It's got to it's gotta touch my 1%, but if it touches even 1% of that line, it's 100% in, Adam. 
I think Avery Tatum might actually have the best look. She was squatting down and got it uh, uh, right down the line shot. That's the fastest review we'll have all year as the stands. They get on their feet here for Mac set point, I should say. 24-17 Indiana, set two. They took set one, 25-19. Hayworth will serve for Indiana. Here comes the serve. Hits the top of the net, Leverett keeps it up. She'll get it right back and fire it home. Cold-blooded. Yeah, the fans won't be able to sit down right away. Leverett saying none of that as she gets another kill, her 11th of the contest. We get another look at it here. Just lethal at the net. Cat Lutz will serve to the back row, Maple. Hayworth, Alonso Corsellas tips. It hits the floor, and Indiana wins set two. They're up 2-0 over the Bruins as we head to break. Two. Here are some of the stats for both these teams. Indiana leading in kills, tied in digs, blocks and aces, and the hitting percentage for Indiana. That's been really the main thing. Cameron Hayworth will start here in set three. The Bruins, here's Leverett, goes for the tip. Hayworth blocks it. Gary, Alonso Corcellus, that's in. 1-0 Indiana. Trying to finish this one off in straight sets. Another great one there from Alonzo Corcellus with the spike. Hayworth will serve and it just goes out of play. A couple of service errors for Cameron Hayworth. We're tied at one, but it really hasn't been a ton of errors for Indiana in this entire match, Dylan. It has been a clean match for Indiana so far as Audrey Pack will serve for UCLA. Pack serves it to Maple. Now Alonso Corcellus tip, and Indiana's able to win the point. It will be Alonso Corcellus to serve for Indiana. They lead two to one. Early in the third, Corcellus has had a great game, and it's not able to be dug out. Sydney Brion couldn't quite grab it. Alonso Corcellus will serve. And now on the far side, it hit Alonso Corcellus' shoulder and Grace Olsen will fire it down. Sheridan Leverett will serve. For UCLA, they trail by one. Leverett, Gary, now Hayworth. Behind the headset to Cyrus, it's dug out. Is it gonna land and play? Just out of bounds. It was Leverett who was trying to dig it out as well. That would have been a, just a magical spot if she was able to find it. Ramsey Gary. The libero. Pack will set up Olsen is rejected, do not go in there. Ramsey Gare will serve, her team leading 5-2. Pat sets it up, down it goes, Leilani Dodson. 
comes up with another kill. That's her fourth. It's been Leverett with 11, Briscoe with five. Leading the way for UCLA. Alonso Corsella, 17 kills. Avery Tatum, eight. Maddie Sarah, six. And now Dodson, her turn to serve. And it hits the net. It's just a momentum killer for the Bruins. And Alfie Reft, still so positive on the sidelines, hasn't gone really well for his team at all. I think I'm back, Adam. <laughs> Yeah, Dylan Beach is back on the headset. Shout out to our crew once again. Best audio people in the business. Duick will set it up and it's placed beautifully by Kiki Horn. Dylan, you got some stuff to say. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of action happened while I was gone. I don't, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I, I mean, we're back now and better than ever now, UCLA cuts it down to two. Grace Olsen will serve. Carly Mills is trying to keep it up. And it's an ace. How about that? An ace for Grace Olsen. 13th ace of the year. Yeah, Grace Olsen, born in Lafayette, Indiana. A little bit of a homecoming here. I don't think she lived here very much, but. Hayworth is rejected and that's tapped down. It was a duo of Briscoe and Horn. And all of a sudden, UCLA tied up in this contest. We'll see if Olsen can do it again. We mentioned it earlier, listed at six foot four, every bit of six foot four. Hayworth, Saris, kept alive by Duick. Now it's Pack looking for Olsen. UCLA has the lead in set three. And we see the emotion there from the UCLA players. We saw a very animated Grace Olsen on that one. Leonard. Welcome back to Wilkinson Hall. Indiana Lee is two sets to zero, but UCLA finally starting a little bit of a run. They're on a 4-0 scoring run. Most points they've scored in a row. I'd have to venture out and say, and it ends quickly with Olsen hitting the net out of the timeout. I was about to say, ever since I came back onto the headset, they were playing really well there for a bit, but Olsen with the service error there, she'll head back to the bench. Her mom, Lisa, track coach, her dad, Greg, a football coach. So I guess that's what you get whenever you mix football and track as a volleyball player. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. Here's a free ball, Borsema, you bet. Borsema bash at the net from Churubusco. I'll say it 100 times that I'm my favorite town in Indiana to pronounce. Not sure I have a response to that. One of five sisters as well, Ella Borzema. That maple serve is dug out nicely by Duick. And now putting it home is Brooklyn Briscoe with a little bit of English. We're tied at eight. Yeah, another good one there from Brooklyn Briscoe. And she's just a freshman off her red shirt. She's got a lot of volleyball yet to be played for UCLA. And she has been great so far here tonight for the Bruins. Sydney Brion will serve again. Set three. Maple Hayworth. Corsellis up high. Rejected. Right at the summit. A Bruin block. Yeah, UCLA getting a very uncharacteristic block there. They haven't had a whole lot of those this season. Only their second of the contest, but that one was about as pretty of one as you will ever see. Look like it was a block by Brooklyn Briscoe. Hayworth. Force him up, blocked at the net, kept up. Be set up, Leverett rejected. Indiana answers back with a block of their own. It's yeah. A, it's a block party in Bloomington. Yeah, Indiana, only 198 of them coming into the night. That one's their seventh of the contest. They're one behind Michigan on to moving into 15th. So moving from the basement and blocks to all the way up there now. 
Duick gets the serve and Brooklyn Briscoe. It was called out and UCLA's calling for a challenge and Alfie Raft is most definitely gonna challenge this one. As Brooklyn Briscoe is extremely confident at that point, they're gonna trust your players. Show the card, coach. There we go, got another review. Let's see if I can improve my hitting percentage on these reviews. I think I'm two for three on the night, Adam. We'll see if we can get an angle here from our camera crew. That one in almost certainly for Brooklyn Briscoe. I mean, that hit more of the court than the white line, so. Yeah, this will be a very fast review, I'd have to say, for UCLA here. As Adam Oppenheim gets a nice little timer going for us, we'll see. I was expecting this one to already be done. I think it's gonna be like 30 seconds. I think the last one was probably. The last one was fast. That, they were they were speed running through that one. That was that was like 90 seconds in Brooklyn Briscoe. Now it could be up to nine kills. Yeah, a great night here for Brooklyn Briscoe as. Adam Oppenheim set a pretty good line at 30 seconds for the review. It was clocked in at 26 there, the officiating crew on one here tonight. Yeah, that, that was definitely one of the quickest reviews you'll ever see in college volleyball. Of course, it helps when there is no doubt. And that was a big point for UCLA. First into double digits in the third set. Served by Lutz. Alonso Corcellus rearing back, didn't get a ton on it. Now it's Pack. Leverett will just play it over. Vickers going up. Lutz digs it out. Pack has to get over. She does, but it's not deep to Mills. Hayworth, Alonso Corcellus blocked. Leverett keeps it up. Now it's Pack. Back row here, UCLA comes, and it's blocked. Vickers finishes the point. A massive rally, and it goes to the Hoosiers. Yeah, Vickers being very crucial in these big points. Feels like the longer the play goes on, the greater chance that Vickers is gonna come into the play, and she's definitely been a key reason why Indiana's up two nothing. Leverett, soft touch, Maple keeps it in. Alonzo Corcellus is blocked. Candela Alonzo Corcellus, what a match so far. 18 kills. I mean, she's been incredible here tonight. Cameron Hayward to serve. Dug out by Dewey. Setting it up for Dodson. Indiana gets it back. Tatum, flat footed nearly. And the spike goes down. I mean, this set hasn't really shown it as much as the rest of the match, but Indiana has been utterly dominant in this contest. I mean, they're hitting over 440 here tonight, Adam. Indiana looking to pull away in set three. UCLA's got to have it. We'll be back for the remainder here on Big Ten Plus. Welcome back into Bloomington. We mentioned earlier a couple players playing beach volleyball, one on each side. For more on them, let's throw it down to Liv Clements. Thanks, guys. Yes, a beach sounds good in this Bloomington weather, but who's just Delaney Mabel, four-time NCAA beach volleyball national champ at USC, and Bruins K. Riley, beach volleyball player at Stanford, the winningest player in program history. So yes, the beach sounds good, but we're here at Wilkinson Hall in Bloomington. Back to you guys. Thanks, Liv. It's about 60 degrees in LA right now. Let's 
Not too bad, warmer than here for sure. Alonso Corsellas is warmer than that. She is red hot. Yeah, I'm sorry, Liv. I think my last name's the closest we're gonna get to any beach here tonight in Bloomington, but another great one there from Cors Alonzo Corsellas up to 19 in the contest. Hayworth, a serve? Too strong. Yeah, couldn't quite corral that one into play. I mean, it's a high risk, high reward type of serve every time Hayworth throws it up. And we'll see if UCLA can get a little bit of a run going. They strung together a few to get this lead and then Indiana answered right back with a few of their own. Audrey Pack, ready, set to serve. Maple, one of those beach volleyball players. Alonso Corcellis is able to finish it off. How about another? 20 kills in this one, Adam. An incredible night here for Alonzo Corcellis. And now it's her turn to serve. To the back row to Leverett. Pack sets up Leverett, goes with a soft touch. Saris is right there. Hayworth, Tatum, out of bounds. Trying to stripe it right down the line. Yeah, couldn't quite get that one in there for Avery Tatum. Get another look at it on the slide. Not able to get that one in. We might be on a little bit of a record watch for Alonzo Corcellis. Just three off of her career high kill total at 23. Or her season high, I should say. We'll get her career high here in a minute. Hayworth, Saris tips, it's rejected. Grace Olsen going upstairs. Yeah, UCLA getting a little bit of momentum here in this contest. We'll see if they can string together a few. Here's Sheridan Leverett to Ramsey Gary. Hayworth, perfect set. Saris fires it down. Saris hasn't had a ton of action because Kendall Alonso Corcellus has just been on an absolute heater. Serve from Gary. It's an ace. Very uncharacteristic ace there. Only her ninth of the season, but it comes in a crucial time for the Hoosiers. Gary, another serve. This one is playable. Olsen, Gary digs it out nice and high. Harith waits for it to come down. Alonso Corsells is blocked. Saris, again, reload. Duick was able to dig it out. UCLA's got to get over on this one. They do. Hayworth, the free ball. Tatum, got it. Tatum torching UCLA here in the third set. Yeah, Avery Tatum now up to double-digit kills in the contest. Indiana looking to take this one in straight sets, and they are rolling here in Bloomington. Another serve by Gary when Indiana leads by four. Pack has to go all the way right near a bench. Another free ball over for Indiana. And that time it's blocked. Borsema got denied. It was Leilani Dobson. Ramsey Gary, Cameron Hayworth, Maddie Saris, a Saris slam here in set three. Yeah, Maddie Saris, a great play there, and we get to see a heads-up play here from the coach, saving the assistant there from getting hit in the face. That's a heads-up play there from Alfie Raft. Here is Tatum to serve. Indiana leads 18-14. Briscoe just able to get over. Gary, Saris, dug out by Duick. Set it up on the opposite side, rejected and out of play. Kiki Horn. Yeah, Borzema not able to get enough on that one to corral it towards the floor. 
And UCLA, it's getting closer and closer to that 25 needed, and they're certainly going to have to string a few off if they want to take a set here tonight. Here's Kate Duffy. I think this is her first action of the night for the Bruins. She's playing in her 41st set, and it's a service error. That is a killer. Maybe wasn't warmed up all the way there, Adam. It is hard coming off the bench for sure, really in any sport. Same thing goes for volleyball. Certainly going to be one she wishes she could have back as Indiana gets within six of taking this match. Maple. Now it's a confrontation at the net. It ends up with Indiana, and now UCLA gets it back. Here comes the hammering horn. Two, two. You're on fire with these alliterations here tonight, Adam. Just like Kiki Horn on that one. That's her sixth kill of the contest. And UCLA all of a sudden gets within four. Within three, I should say. My bad, <laughs> folks. I was just going to let you correct yourself, or? It happens sometimes. <laughs> Well, that serve flies out of bounds. And once again, it's the, the Bruins serving. And it's back to four. I, I was just a play too early there, Adam. And <laughs> Saw just the can't, script. Just can't corral it in. And Indiana was the team we were talking about the service ace or service errors with coming into the night. And UCLA has as many as Indiana in this contest, but over half as many service aces as Indiana does in this contest. How about Luca Fickle in to serve? That serve flies out. Of course, Luca Fickle, the father is Luke. Played collegiate football for Ohio State and now part of uh, Madison, Wisconsin, out of their football program. They're jumping around, going into the fourth quarter against number one Oregon. Couldn't pull that one out, but that is quite the family. We've seen them here for a couple volleyball matches, but certainly a really busy schedule. Another serve falls up short for UCLA. Deja vu for the Bruins. That's three straight service aces between the two teams, and then don't think UCLA's got to serve in the court in their last three tries either. Nine service errors for UCLA. Hayward does get the serve, and it's a free ball over. Serve was powerful. Tatum, also powerful. Indiana's within three of winning in straight sets against UCLA. But before that, timeout off the raft and the Bruins. And Coach Aird told us the other day on the Zoom call, got to serve aggressively to be able to counter the outside hitters that UCLA has. And you see it there with that free ball that they win back. And then they put it away right away there, Adam. He must have had a crystal ball too, because he really foresaw how this match was going to play out here. He talked about that, and then also Sheridan Leverett, who talked about her, she was still above her kill percentage. Now she's down to .207. UCLA's a team, .299. Indiana, .11, or .411. And it feels like there's even a bigger difference than that. As we take a look at, how about the men's soccer team? JT Harms, Jack Wagner, Josh Mayer. Akron, 1 p.m. Sunday. Coming in and showing off their Hoosier pride here tonight, Adam. Now you are allowed to technically kick the ball in volleyball to you know, keep it up. We'll see if we have that. Let's take a look at the Big Ten standings right next to the goalkeeper, Indiana, JT Harms. Both these teams near the bottom. Yeah, and Indiana with a chance to do a flip-flop on UCLA tonight, moving to 12th with a win here tonight due to the tiebreaker of head-to-head, -head, but as this match is going on, UCLA, it's about do or die time here. Twenty-two, seventeen. 17 Hayworth with the serve. Pack is gonna set it up, Leverett. Hayworth has that easily. Alonso Corcellis dug out by Duick. Meeting at the summit, it's won by Pack. Audrey Pack, just 5'11". Normally the team set her, but you wouldn't have been able to tell it by this block here as she really just dominates 
Alonzo Corcellus there at the net, just puts it into the ground. That was one UCLA needs to have. They're going to need a lot more of those. As now it's Ava Vickers, who's able to just slide it home over the net. And Indiana's within two. And all for your left. Acing on the sidelines, trying to get something to go his way. Yeah, it may not say it in the stat sheet, but Ava Vickers has been there every time Indiana has needed her tonight. When the going gets tough, it seems like she's always been there for the Hoosiers. Not always there when you call, but always on time. So has been Sheridan Leverett as she's rejected, but then UCLA puts it over. Here's Tatum, rejected and kept up. It was Dodson who got a piece of it. Now Leverett swinging, good dig by Gary Hayworth. Gary gets it over to the back row. What a rally this has become. Leverett is gonna tap it. Vickers plays it back to Alonso Corcellus. Beautiful ball to Saris, and it's kept up by UCLA. Down it goes, but out of bounds. Leverett trying to force it down the line, and that brings Wilkinson Hall to its feet. We're gonna see a challenge here once again from Alfie Ref. They think it touched the hand on its way out. So the crowd may get to sit momentarily here in Wilkinson Hall. I don't know if they've got the memo on the challenge call yet, as many have started to head to maybe get in line for an autograph after the game, but we'll see if we get an angle of the review here in a moment. It looked like it was out on first look, but once again, I think what the challenge was is a hand by Indiana at the tail end of it that maybe the officials didn't see, but I'm just basically going off a of memory of the play at this point as we get a look here. That actually was pretty close, but based on Avery Tatum's reaction, ooh, that might hit her pinky. It's close. Off What's of Avery Tatum's reaction alone, I, I got to lean with the Hoosiers keeping this point here, but we'll see if the officials agree with us here on this one. Avery Tatum, we mentioned earlier, not too many players from California on this IU team. She is from California as we get another angle here. Oh. That one is definitely off of nothing there. We're going to stay here on match point here in Indiana if the play stands. It would be 24-18, it would flip it to 23-19. It's the last gambit here for Alfie Ref. That's one you got to challenge every time. As we get the call, point goes to Indiana and Wilkinson Hall and is on their feet. 24-18 Indiana. Canela Alonso Corcellus. He's had a heck of a night trying to finish it for Indiana in straight sets. First ball goes to Brion. Now it's Leverett, fires it home, keeps the Bruins alive for the third straight set on the first set point. Yeah, and you had a good vantage point of that play, Adam, as UCLA staying alive here on match point once again, and who else to serve other than Leverett? Leverett just got to focus on getting it over. It's been too many service errors for the Bruins today. Can Leverett get it over? She does to Gary. Hayworth sets it up. Tatum is rejected. Indiana gets it right back. How about Saris? Short ball is blocked. Tatum will try again. Rejected. UCLA has won two straight now. It's 24-20. I think we are going to get a challenge card here from Coach Aird, potentially. And we do. see what he's looking for on the potential review here. Maybe a hand over the net would be the only thing I could potentially think of unless he's looking for an interference call on the landing. We'll let the officials take care of this one here, Adam. Yeah, absolutely, especially on this one. It's hard to see. Oh, well, there we go. We got a net look. Oh, I, I think she might have came into contact with the net there and the officials agree with that sentiment. This would be ball game here in Wilkinson Hall. Great review work from our crew as always. Another chance to shout them out. 
feel like we can't do it enough. Absolutely, the camera people, the audio people, Oscar Harrison, our director, and it stays with UCLA, our entire crew in the control room, who you do not get to hear from. They make it all possible, super easy for us to always go on air. Check that, Oscar, the producer, and Henry Thuss is the director, switched up the two roles that do a ton. Once again, shout out to them. But it comes up short by Sheridan Leverett, and Indiana comes up with a straight set win. And that third set was how it went the entire match for Indiana. Service airs for UCLA and a ton of kills, led by Canela Alonso Corcellis with 20. Yeah, I jinxed it with the record watching earlier, Adam. Couldn't get to the career high of 24, but anytime when you're getting 20 kills in a game, you gotta be happy, especially when you're out hitting Leverett, one of the top players in the conference by over eight kills in this one. Indiana just absolutely dominating UCLA and it's a great start to their weekend series. 25-20, Indiana wins the third set. 25-19 was the first set, 25-18 was the second set, and 25-20 to finish it off in straight sets. Dylan, it was an impressive win by Indiana when UCLA, look coming in, better team on paper is probably the Bruins. Yeah, that's certainly gonna be an RPI booster for the Hoosiers and it's a big win. I mean, so much about this team is winning at home and I was curious to see how they would do with a lesser student section turnout and they certainly answered the call here tonight. Yeah, it was it was a pretty good crowd, all things considered for Thanksgiving play, Thanksgiving break, as we see the final play there. Sheridan Leverett just comes up short as Indiana takes all three sets against UCLA. It was a bit of an anticlimactic ending on the service error compared to what we had saw in that game. A lot of really fun plays in this contest, really good so Really good volleyball here on Big Ten Plus here tonight. Certainly some great action, and really, you look at Kendall Alonso Corsella, she led the way with 20. Avery Tatum had 11, and just an impressive win all around by Indiana. And head coach Steve Ayer, who is certainly. <laughs> Candy <laughs> Yo, why didn't you? Yo. Bro, path, bro, Rama, bro. Bro, bro, side already, what do you bro, kill enemy, man, enemy. <laughs> 